Today I have a cool Illustrator scatter brush tutorial where we're going to make our very own scatter brush and then use that to make a vector tree design in Adobe Illustrator. What is up people, welcome back to the home of graphic design on YouTube, Tutorial Graphics. Before the scatter brush tutorial, I want to let my loyal viewers know that I have a question at the very end of this tutorial, so make sure to hang around for that. With the pen tool, make a slightly curvy line up the artboard that's going to represent the trunk of the tree, and then add some weight to the stroke. You'll want to add this stroke style here, making the line thinner at the top. Then with the same method, make a couple of branches that spread out from the tree. We're going to make a decent looking trunk before we address the scatter brush section of this tutorial. Make several lines with the stroke techniques that we used before, and you end up with something like this. Select everything and then outline the stroke. And then in the Pathfinder window, unite everything together with the first option in the Pathfinder. Finally, open up the Simplify window and adjust it so there are not so many anchor points on the tree. Next, we're going to add an effect that will make the tree look wooden by going up to Effect, Distort, and then Roughen. Choose the absolute option here, as well as the smooth box, and make sure the settings and make the settings something similar to mine here. You may have to experiment with your settings a bit. We can adjust the bottom of the trunk to be flat with the direct selection tool. And next we're going to move on to the scatter brush part of this tutorial. Make a circle with the ellipse tool and then you can press Command or Control R to open up the rulers. Use the direct selection tool to adjust the circle into a similar shape to mine here. We're going to make a leaf with the scatter brush setting. With the pen tool, draw a shape that will cut into the leaf. Then select both shapes and use this Pathfinder setting here. Open up the brush setting window and select new brush in the top right corner. From there choose scatter brush. You must choose the path setting here and then change the spacing and the size. These settings will have to be played around with later anyway. Finally, select Tints at the bottom option. You will see your brush appear in the window here. Now take out the pencil tool and draw a line around your tree where you want the scatter brush to place leaves on. This method can be used for any design, not just trees. Once finished, highlight the line and simply click your scatter brush in the brush window. Mine are way too small, so if you want to change yours, double click the brush setting in the brush window and play around the settings until you're happy. You can then add colour and finally I'll show you how to edit the scatter brush path. Outline the stroke of your leaves and then ungroup them all.
This will now allow you to delete, move and resize each individual leaf on your design. Also, if you make the line with the pencil tool and add a scatter brush on top of it, you can continue drawing anytime by clicking the end of the line. So experiment and have fun making designs in Illustrator with a scatter brush. I'm thinking of making a new series called Deconstruction of Design on my channel where you, my viewers and my subscribers can send in designs that you see online and then I make a video showing the design process I think the graphic design undertook to make a design. If you think this is a good idea let me know in the comment section below and send in your ideas. Later this week I have another logo design using circles so watch out for that. Like and share this video if you found it useful and until next time design your future today, peace.